and today I am competing in another Camden dressage competition but today I am doing the prelim 1A, 1C and the novice 2B so you guys might be wondering why I'm going back to prelim because <laughs> I haven't done prelims at all this year and the reason for that is because in July which is our next comp so after this comp we're having a bit of a break before July because we have our young rider nationals so pretty much what that comp is it's a qualifying comp for riders under 21 years of age and Jeff and I actually qualified for it last year so we qualified for prelim and novice which is why I'm doing the two prelims today because these are the two prelims that are going to be at nationals so I want to be able to practice them at a competition 2019 obviously had brand new tests so I haven't done any prelims because I've been doing novice elementary so so I'm gonna compete these two prelims once before I do it at nationals and yeah so we are walking up to get Jep now it is a really nice morning and our first test is at 10.06 so just giving you guys a heads up Jep is clipped <laughs> so she looks a bit different and before people ask because I know people will um, ask why I clipped Jep I've never actually had a clip before, but this year obviously because in winter, we, so it's nearly winter in Australia if you don't know, because um, I've got nationals and stuff, she's in a full workload in winter, and last winter, hi, <laughs> last winter she got, this isn't Jeff, <laughs> we got a Kai, um, last winter, like she gets, oh, she doesn't grow much of a winter coat, but she tends to sweat quite a bit because I mean we get cold winters here but they're not as cold as other places so this is why she's in what she's in because it was a cold night but um hi hun hi <laughs> I'll just catch her and then I'll finish what I was saying Love me, human. Look how scruffy he is. The scruff man. It's like, why are you so tall? That looks so cool with the sun behind it. He'll under your laces. <laughs> As I was saying, last winter she got pretty sweaty in work and when she sweats obviously when you work her in winter it's not very fair to wash them especially because and if you do wash them with their winter coats they take so long to dry so normally she doesn't get a really thick winter coat but it's enough for her to not dry when she sweats or when she gets washed which just causes her to shiver and obviously get cold <laughs> So the fact that we've clipped her means that if she does sweat, I can sponge her off and then just literally wipe her over with a towel and she's dry. We washed her yesterday because uh, obviously we're competing today. And she, we didn't, by the time we went and got the sweat scraper to like scrape all the water off, she was completely dry. <laughs> so it's just easier that way and it's better for her health as well so she's not going to get cold because obviously you put more rugs on her and everything like that so she's not going to get cold when she's in the paddock and everything and then with work she's not going to heat up really fast and then cool down really quick which is really bad for them so if they're in work and they get quite hot and sweaty and then all of a sudden you stop and they're still sweaty and because of how cold it can be outside they just cool down ridiculously fast and it's really bad for them so first time we've ever had a clipped and yeah so I didn't do it for looks because if I had done it for looks I would have done it the last two winters with her because I've had her for 
two winters now, or maybe even three. I don't know. <laughs> I've had it for three years, nearly four. So anyway, if I was doing it for looks, I would have done it the last few years. So the only reason I did it for this year was for her own benefit, not mine. <laughs> she seems happy and she doesn't sweat much, if at all, with work, which is so good because if she had her winter coat, which she would have, because we clipped her when she was fluffy, um, after every ride she would have been sweaty. So this is just so much nicer for her. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so this is our first test of the day and I just, I don't know, I don't really even want to put this test in, but I am <laughs> because as much as I hate it, I don't want to hide it. So, I'm, as always, I'm always critical on myself, um, but in this particular test, I don't know, I just felt like nothing was going right. Started off quite nicely, happy with where her pole is, how she's moving. There's no lengthens in prelims, um, so it can be quite hard to not, you know, have her anticipate a lengthen because she's so used to just lengthening across the diagonal. Um, but she did it quite nicely. I held her quite nice. I was ha really happy with the first half of this test, honestly. I don't have many complaints or critiques. Um, I should have warmed her up longer. Because I did feel like, although it's kind, you can't exactly tell, I was holding her back this whole test. It just felt like she wanted to go. And I could just feel her getting frustrated as well. Um, so here's our first canter. As you can see, you can t see, watch me hold her back. She's not quite collected. Her head's slightly above the bit. Um, yeah, she's just not in a frame that I'd like her to be in. But nonetheless, I wasn't angry with the test at this point when I was riding through it. She's just a lot, a bit long in the frame, a bit on the forehand because she's just wanting to pull and go faster. Um, here's a downward transition, pretty dodgy. About to go into our walk, at least because she had energy, our walk was quite decent. <laughs> But here's where it begins to go downhill for us. So we're about to do our trot. Nice walk for her. <laughs> Fairly happy with it. And now we go to trot. She's a bit tense. You can see her kind of fighting me. Now she softens and is working quite nicely. Um, we go for our serpentine and she trips a little bit. Bit of a loose dirt there. She <laughs> falls into canter. Um, but I brought her back quite fast and here we come down for the part that I was just not happy with. So when Jep gets hot, her canter transitions get hot. So here we have our canter. She does a little buck and then I try to push her on. She starts to go sideways. So I don't handle it very well, um, which makes her overreact because I overreacted. So it wouldn't have been as bad as it was if I hadn't overreacted the way I did and had, hadn't had have done what I did with my hands, which was a bit harsh and unnecessary. Um, she didn't deserve that, but in the moment I was just wanting her to keep going and I wanted to get her to keep moving forward, um, which obviously is the wrong way to do it, but we all, we, we learn from difficult situations like this. And then from that point on, she was tense, she was fighting me. It just wasn't a nice test. Um, nonetheless, the judges were m more lenient than I think they should have been for us. I don't think we deserved um, to get the score we did. However, her trot's quite nice there because she's so hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we ended up winning this test, which was hard for me. I couldn't... I wasn't happy with the win because I didn't feel like we should have won. I mean, I didn't watch the other tests that we were against. We did win by quite a little bit. So I don't want to sound mean, but I just don't think we deserve to win. 
Um, and I didn't really appreciate the win as much as I would have if I wrote a nice test because at the end of the day, I don't care about the place. I care about how the test felt and this did not feel anywhere near like a winning test to me. So I was very happy like and surprised that we still won with that because I didn't expect that we would, but it didn't feel deserved. <laughs> So here we have our prelim 1B. I gave her a really big warm up for this one um, to the fact where she was a little bit tired, but it was better than, you know, having her be hot headed. Um, I have kind of worked out though that we have issues in the prelims. The easier the test, the harder I feel like we both find it. Um, she seems to get sick of this and I think it's the same reason as to why she doesn't enjoy hacking and showing anymore because she never used to be like that. She'd always enjoy going out to the hack ring. Well, you know, she'd do it. She never would carry on. And then this past year as we've started to, you know, just do a few hack shows, it's not like we do it often, but she just would never be like happy she'd be bucking she'd be carrying on and I'd have her checked out you know straight after and she'd be fine there was no issues with her um so after looking into it and just working with her more we've come to realize that now that she's become more educated and because I've done so much harder stuff we're training medium at the moment which is a big different to prelim into hacking. She is the type of horse that gets sick of easy work. So that's why she'll get, you know, she'll be really good at hacking at the start of the day and then she'll start to go through and she'll just get cranky. <laughs> and I feel like it's the same with the prelims. She has too much energy for prelims half the time. After this one, I'd worn her out quite a bit. So she was a lot better. But I just, even through this test, I just felt her pulling. It was just like she wanted to do something harder. She wanted to do something more. And as soon as we do a harder test, she doesn't put a foot wrong. Like we do our novice after this and it just has her lengthens and her leg yields and she was so different and was perfect. So I don't know. I think personally, I think she thrives off the more challenging work like I do as well. We both work better with the harder tests. And now that she's got that education, she just doesn't want to do the simple stuff anymore. She just, you know, gets sick of it. <laughs> um, and it's taken us a while to realise this too. It's not something that has just, all you know, we just made up <laughs> or whatever. Like we've been trying to figure out why she acts up at hacking comps all year. And just to see what she was like in these two prelims and then in her last test of the day, which is where you'd think would be her best test of the day, I mean, laziest test or the one she would could muck up in because she could have been over it. Like if that was why she's acting up in the prelims, you'd think it'd be more towards the end of the day if she's over it. But she was just a different horse. and <laughs> She was just so much better. So after, I mean, it's not like we do prelims much anyway. The only reason we did them, as I said, for the start of this video is because I have nationals and we've qualified for prelim and novice. So we're only ever going to be doing the prelims together one last time and that's at nationals. And then from then on, we'll be focusing on our elementary medium work. We're not going to be competing medium just yet, but um, we're going to be really focusing on doing the harder, nov I mean, elementaries and a couple novices. So, yeah, fell into the canter there um, and she was just tense. She only fell into it like a corner too soon. But every corner in this test, I could feel her wanting to go into a canter. It's like she just thought it was, you know, going to be a canter there and that I was going to ask for it. So every corner I was holding her back and that one corner I didn't because I didn't feel her, you know, wanting to canter. And, of course, that's the one that she ends up doing it in. But she just didn't feel as good as she did in our last test which was a novice I just you know I've had Jep for a while now and it's crazy how I'm still learning so much about her and just these new things that I'm still learning so it's it's amazing <laughs> like it, it's really good but we ended up winning this test again so um yeah 
which was really nice. Um, it was definitely better than our first test, but it was not something I was happy with, but that happens as dressage. I pick the hardest discipline to be happy with ever because it's the most, you know, um, what's the word? The most, well, disciplined <laughs> out of all of the disciplines. So it's hard to ever be happy with a dressage round because there's so much in it and so much that can go wrong. But this was our 2B, best test to end it on. I was so happy to end it on this test, honestly. Um, she was so much nicer. Her headset's nicer. She's not fighting me. She's not pulling. She wasn't lazy. She was just the perfect in-between. And I think it's also because she had, you know, been ridden for a while now. So she's not quite as energetic as she was, which helps. But, um, yeah... So it's a bit long in the headset there coming up for our first leg yield. I honestly just can't wait to be doing more elementaries with her because she does the elementary work so much better than she does even in the novice work. Not a bad leg yield, but she's shoulder four and not quite straight. But she's like, she doesn't, she scores all right for her leg yields. Like she still gets pretty good scores occasionally, <laughs> depends on the day. Um, but in her, like her elementary stuff, like her rain backs, her shoulder ins, she scores so well. And now that her walk to canners are coming along at competitions, they score really well too. So they score better than her novice work does, which is weird because you'd think they're harder moves. The judges would probably be stricter at that level, but <laughs> I think she just thrives with the harder work like I do. That's a much better leg yield, much straighter and she's not leaning leading with the shoulder there. Um, but yes, yeah, so I can't wait to start doing more elementaries and do the 3B. We've only ever done the 3A, but our travers have come along so nicely at the moment. So same with our walk pirouettes. So I think <laughs> I might in the next couple months after nationals do our first 3B. Woo! <laughs> But yeah, so here we are trotting and ready for our next canter transition. Go! <laughs> See, look how neat that was. She just, it's hard to explain, but she just feels like she enjoys doing this so much better. Like she really felt like she was thriving off this work rather than the prelim. I just, I don't know. You know the feeling when you ride them and you can just tell when they're enjoying it and you can just tell when they're kind of like can we do something else? I'm sick of this. And that's what she feels like in the prelims now. And I'm just hoping that she can pull it together for nationals <laughs> and do the last two ever prelims for her and just, you know, be happy. <laughs> but um, we'll see. We have our two novices as well. And I think our novices are the day before prelims. So I'm hoping they are because I feel like if that's the case, she'll be better for the prelims the next day. Beautiful transition there. See, this is what I mean though. Look at her headset in this test compared to the two prelims in the canter. Her canter is just so much nicer. She's not rushing. She's not doing, you know, the typical little pony canter. She's just so much slower and just looks like she's enjoying it more. I don't know if she looks like she is, but she f she felt like she was. <laughs> There's our length and canter. And as I bring her back around the corner, slow her down. She was just so much more accepting. I don't know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we ended up winning this test as well, which I was really happy with because I felt like it deserved to win. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was just very, very happy with Jeppy. She was a very good girl. Did I lie? Wait, hold on. Okay, so I just realized, I was like, wait, I know I didn't get three firsts. So I looked back, I did get a first for this test, but for the 1B, so the test before, I got a second. <laughs> Sorry. I was just like, wait, I didn't win all three, so I had to go check my Instagram. Um, but yeah, here you go, guys. So here we are coming up the center line. Guys, I, don't, I can't believe that I'm saying this, but this is my last comp before nationals bloody nationals that's the whole of australia <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm like really overwhelmed and excited for it as you can see i was happy with that test after the first two <laughs> but yeah so <laughs> yeah okay i hope you guys enjoyed that little voiceover but yeah nationals is the next show vlog what 
Okay guys, so we've just put Jeff away. I'm sorry, I haven't really vlogged much today. But what's new, I really vlog at shows. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who came up to me and supported me and watched me today. I met quite a few of you today, which was lovely. Um, thank you for coming up and talking to me. It really makes my day when I meet all of you guys. And yes, yeah, so I would have spoken about all my tests um, throughout the clips, um, as you would have seen. Turns out, I think Jep's just overdoing the easy stuff. It's like the same with hacking. She doesn't, she gets bored of hacking, so she acts up, and I think that's what's happening with the prelim tests now because they're just so easy. And compared to what she's training at home, especially because she's training medium, as you would have seen, we got two firsts and a second. No more show vlogs for a bit because Jep's just, Jep and I are just going to be training and training and training and training. And I didn't want to do too many comps before nationals because there's no need because we've qualified. I mean, we qualified a year ago and all these tests won't go towards anything. So what we're going to do is just train and see how we go at nationals, I guess. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week.